Welcome back, it's back, 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 back to the basics. I'm Sean Barr, today we are talking about echo cancellation. Echo cancellation, echo, let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking echo cancellation or AEC, which is acoustic echo cancellation. So what is echo cancellation? Well, to, to start off, it's essentially anytime you're talking and you have audio playing uh, essentially through a speaker and you also have the listening device, a mic listening at the same time, you're gonna need some echo cancellation because essentially the audio is playing out of the speaker and the microphone is picking up that audio. So if I'm on side A and there's a side B and I'm talking through my mic and it's playing out of side B through the speakers, and on side B they've got a microphone, there's a chance I could hear my own voice back because it's playing out of the speaker, there's a microphone, it picks it up and it plays the audio back to the person speaking. So essentially I would hear my own voice and that is the echo. So what do you need to do? You need to stop that from happening and that is echo cancellation. Let's talk a little bit about the history of it. So when it first started out, going back to you know the first phones, they had, this problem. So it was typically in a handset, but you could still hear a little bit of it. And it wasn't as prominent as like if you had a speaker and a microphone in like, let's say a conference room, but it was noticeable. So what the provider started to do, as they said, we gotta solve this problem. They came up with an idea that the primary talker, whoever was talking the most, the other side's microphone would be muted and that would solve some of the problem. Well, what that does is create this unnatural experience of I'm talking and the other person may be making noises or uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They may not hear that. And so they're just talking and they're like, hey, you there? And then, yeah, I'm here. And you get this weird, not human-like experience. So they wanted to fix that. And they did that through echo cancellation. So nowadays we have these things called DSP, which are digital signal processing. And what those DSPs do is essentially provide echo cancellation. They can do a lot more, a lot of other things, but, but primarily they're used in that way when we're talking in regards to echo cancellation. So when we get into conference rooms today, so we're doing a lot of video conferencing where you're walking into a room and you have mic and audio happening. And let's say uh, somebody calls into the room and they're talking to you and they hear their own voice back. Well, that's a problem. These DSPs solve that. They cancel out the echo. There's other things like uh, impedance mismatch and things like that where you have a microphone and uh, multiple microphones. You, uh, there's another thing called gating where basically if you have three microphones in a room, which one does it listen to? DSPs can handle that for you as well. And that's all microphone tuning. So some examples of echo cancellation, we've talked about it already, but essentially a conference room is primarily where you're gonna see it when we're talking video collaboration or even voice collaboration. Anytime you're in a conference room where they have speakers in the ceilings and mics on the tables, you're gonna need some echo cancellation and the better that works, the better your sound is gonna sound and your far end participants are gonna have a better experience so they don't get that weird noise in the background or hear their own voice like just a little bit, you need to tune those DSPs. So echo cancellation, that's it. It cancels out the echo. We talked a little bit about it. It happens at the far end, but it's for the person speaking at the remote end. They're talking, playing out the speakers, the microphone on the table picks it up, plays it back to them, and they hear their own voice. So we need something to deal with that. That's it. And if I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I wanna know more, about that. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.